Hey guys, this is the uh, latest version of my TCM uh, using the Arduinos and um, as I stated in the last uh, post, I wanted to go ahead and clean things up. Um, didn't quite get to that, but uh, you know, such is such is the way things go. So let me uh, show you what the additions are to the setup. Um, you'll see that there's a bank of switches here. And this far right switch is the toggle between automatic mode and the, the paddle shifters, or whatever you want to call it, the semi-manual mode. And then the second switch to the left, from the right to the left, the second switch is a brake switch that simulates a brake um, signal. Uh, this varistor, um, that's to simulate the map, so based on vacuum, uh, shift, the, shift the transmission. And uh, so the first thing I want to do is, you'll see that all the solenoids are actually off. Um, what I'm going to do is reset this unit, basically as if you started the car, and since I'm in um, automatic mode, but I turn this down, it won't shift, um, but during initialization you'll see it on first gear. And then when I change this, which is the resistance, or eventually the, uh, uh, those that are electrically savvy know that I'm actually going to change the voltage, the tripping voltage, and then it'll cycle through the lights. And then I can dial it back, so um, as as you actually shift and you lose vacuum, um, there's a little bit of delay between you shifting again. So uh, that's some of the real world stuff that when I get in the car we'll see how well it works. But um, So let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit the uh, reset button here. So there's first gear. Okay, I'm in uh, automatic mode. I'm just going to turn this dial here. So I'm just going to turn it real briefly. Oops, maybe that was too brief, so let me turn it. There's second gear, third gear. So I dialed it back. I'm only in third gear. At this point I actually want to show you what happens when you break. So in the code, which I'll throw up on the, on the post, I'm under 10 miles an hour, so when I break, I'm under 10 miles an hour, I'll drop it to first gear. If I'm above uh, 10 miles an hour, whatever gear I'm in, um, it'll drop to second gear. So, let me go ahead and trip this second switch. There's first gear. Um, and since I'm below the threshold here, it stays in first, so do this, shifting, 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 and we see the TCC, and then if I brake, first gear, shifting, shifting, TCC, okay, um, if I bring that miles per hour up, oops, wrong direction, up above 10, and I brake, so second switch, only second gear. So, again, the, the tripping point uh, is 10 miles an hour. Um, you just really use first gear unless you're wide open throttle from a dead stop. Uh, first gear is really to get the car rolling, and you should normally be in second gear. And second gear for this transmission is the uh, limp mode of the transmission. So, um, if I bring this dial back. and I turn the switch off. I'm going to go back into just my push button normal operation that I've used or currently implemented some time ago. So I can uh, switch between gears wherever I want. So this is up and this is a down. So down if I, um, if I wanted to select a different gear. And um, that's third, second, first. That that's all still there. So um, in this case, you know, if you want to just sample the wide open throttle um, logic, and let's go to 
Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, okay. I'm trying to think here, what do I want to do? Well, I'm in second gear, and if I want to go wide open throttle and hit this button here, it's the third one, I go to first gear. And then I can shift up. So, again, because of the parameters, which I discussed in the previous version, I can hit wide open throttle and go to first gear. Um, because I'm below 40 miles an hour in this case. If I want to bump the miles per hour up and show oops, miles per hour. I am not good at making these videos. Um, get that miles per hour up. Okay, so we're sitting around 40, almost 50 miles an hour, 49.50. Um, go ahead and shift up to fourth gear with TCC on gauge. Wide open throttle, boom, because of the threshold for wide open throttle, less than 3300 RPM means second gear. So um, that gives you the opportunity to downshift either to pass somebody or um, in a case of a race or whatever you're trying to do, uh, let that engine um, get the RPM up. So that logic is all still there. It's kind of neat. And the same thing will happen if I flip this back to automatic and um, I let it shift to at least four. Oh, okay, it was too fast there. Fourth gear, and then I want to go uh, wide open. So again above 10 miles an hour oh forgive me that was breaking but for wide open for 40 miles an hour above uh, I dropped a second which is all these lights off so uh, I showed you breaking earlier that's wide open that logic's the same whether uh, I'm in automatic mode or uh, the manual push button mode with these guys so um, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a lot of permutations I've gone through, which would make this video really long. And it seems that uh, this video tends to be a little longer and takes a lot longer to upload um, than I want it to. But uh, maybe someday I can become more proficient at creating these videos. So, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, or you want me to demo any other um, sequences, I can certainly do that. Um, so we got the automatic mode using the map that was simulated by that. Um, and then this far right switch was used for toggling in and out of manual mode. So for example, I'm only in second gear now, but I was in auto mode, so if I go into manual mode, um, I can change gears. There's third, here's fourth and TCC. Um, right down to first. The second switch here was used for braking. Um, braking only applies in automatic mode because uh, in this case my assumption is if you are in manual mode and you're going to brake, you're going to go ahead and downshift. So you downshift to whatever you want. So in this case I'll go to fourth gear and then hit this brake and it won't do anything. So see, nothing. Um, and then we talked about wide open throttle and uh, the parameters for that and you see the other videos for uh, the logic when that was implemented and then if you look at the code for this latest version you'll see that all that's still in there. It may be a little bit organized because uh, I did take some time to clean it up but um, I'm not going to run through all of that. Anyway, so um, the layout, I haven't settled on the layout but my major concern is getting the sequence of the solenoids with the map sensor and then the wide open. I'm just probably just going to do a TPS and maybe implement further logic to use the throttle position sensor TPS, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, 
I don't know what the production units use for shifting the transmission with the TPS. I, I don't know. I think it's probably good enough. It's m much more advanced than the current unit, which was strictly push buttons to sequence the uh, the lights. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so we'll. Uh, Get this posted up, and if you have any questions, just shoot shoot me a message on the board, and uh, whatever. If you guys need something or want me to work on something for you to kind of control your torque converter clutch or whatever, you know, you can buy the kits, and I can throw you over the software or do whatever you need to do and figure out it works for you. Uh, the nice thing is, is you're not really out much with these these things. Uh, a lot of money is in actually the time it takes to program these things, and that's really where most of the expenses are. But um, hardware is pretty cheap, so uh, I think the next iteration I'm going to do is just uh, put it in the box, literally, and uh, put it in the car and start testing it. So that should be fun. All right, thanks.